Hello everyone, I'm David Spear with Final Touch Auto Detailing. Today I'm going to be working on this Pontiac Vibe. I'll show you around a little bit on the interior of it and the exterior, show you what's going on. Today we're going to be doing full detail where we'll be taking care of everything on the inside, everything on the outside. We're going to be polishing up some headlights to get those back restored. And we're going to be doing an engine detail. And then we're going to go around the whole car and do an all-in-one paint polishing. It's uh, more of a gloss enhancement. But we'll show you what's going on with this. There's a lot of dirt. This is going to be a huge turnaround because this thing is pretty disastrous. It's, it's, it's awful. It's nasty. But now, before we get too far into this, I want to talk a little bit about... I've seen some other videos that where folks are doing similar work to this and not everybody gets to the final goal by using the exact same tools and methods. I think you're going to see a lot of things that I do is going to be a little bit different than you might be used to seeing with some other folks. It doesn't matter what method you use to get there as long as you get an end result that you're happy with. So some of the things that I do that are a little bit different than some of the other folks do, mostly that's due to machine and product I've spent a lot of time and money researching some of the best machines, best tools that I could get a hold of and some of the most effective products so that I could get an awesome result in a much less time. So I'm thinking I'm going to be spending about six to eight hours total on this vehicle with everything that we've got dirty in it. And let's just get into the work. All right, so there's a bunch of junk in the far as dirt when you park under trees you get lots of dirt dirt and dust in your door jams and such that makes a really big difference when someone opens the door and they see all that this thing is is quite dirty i don't know that it's ever been detailed since the guy who owns it has had it a lot of stuff in there we're going to get that taken Yeah, this thing is definitely pretty rough. But whenever it's all cleaned out and looks back to new again, we'll show you the video after that. There's a bunch of change in there. When we gather up all that stuff in there, I want you to guess how much change I actually find. So put in the comments down below how much change you think there is. person who guesses closest uh, they'll, they're going to win some bragging rights today so we're going to clean the carpet and the seats also the engine has probably never been cleaned up but we're going to get the engine all cleaned up dressed looking good the underneath side of the hood there that's looking pretty rough another thing we're going to do is these headlights I think the passenger side is actually worse than the driver. All right, first we're going to use a paint decontamination soap and this will help loosen up anything that's embedded into the paint. After this we're going to use clay to help pull anything out of the paint that's still stuck in there. And we have to do that to make sure the paint is free of any contamination so that we can have a nice clean surface when we go to do some paint polishing. And here we're going over the surface of the paint with the clay bar. This will help remove anything else that's still left on the paint and get it nice and clean and prep for the polishing.
And here I'm just going around the entire surface of the car. We'll make sure I hit the glass and everything that's painted to pull all the contaminants out that we possibly can. So using the Tornador to blow dirt out of carpet seats, floor mats especially, you can see all the dirt that's come flying out of this. I ended up grabbing my floor dryer to help blow the dirt away. And as you can see how powerful that is, it'll blow the floor mats away as well. But it helped get the dirt out of the way while I was actually doing this and making a little bit more of a dustless environment right in my face. So we get all the dirt that we can blown out before I take them outside and get them wet using the pressure washer to finish cleaning them up. Here I'm pre-treating the carpet with some Resolve carpet cleaner and that's pretty much it that we'll use for carpets and breaking out the pressure washer and hosing them down pretty heavy and flooding all that dirt out of there and just you couldn't even tell that the carpet said vibe on them before we started pressure washing them so you'd be able to see the before and after difference here. All right, at this point, we're gonna start using the Vapor Chief 125 to blow this dirt that's packed into the trunk jam out. And it's pretty bad, it's caked on there really, really tough. So I used some very mild degreaser to get that loosened up and kind of pre-treated. So make it a lot easier to blast all that dirt out of there and get it cleaned up. And here's where I'll use the tornado and a direct line of really high pressured air to blow all the dirt that's just packed out into this carpet fibers out, try to get it loosened up. And on this side, we're using the tornado velocity vac. And I may have talked a little bit about that earlier, where it uses the same tornado action and it's hooked up to a constant supply of suction from the vacuum cleaner. That way, you're blowing dirt loose and then sucking it right back up as you do that. It's a really awesome tool. I love having this. So back here we're blowing out more with the really high pressure air and I'm also using the classic Tornador to really blow loose a lot of this dust and dirt that's still packed in the back. It's pretty bad as well. And then I'm gonna be doing a lot of vacuuming to pull up the dirt that's been blown loose. I also used the Tornador Velocity back back here a little bit as well, but I didn't show that in the video.
Here we're using the drill brush with some Folex and Resolve to help break up that really nasty dirt that's packed down into the seat. Get a little bit of drill brush action that helps break that up amazingly. And back here we're using the Vapor Chief 125 to blast all the dirt that's in the door jams and on the door frames out. We're also going to use this to clean off the B pillar and the door panels as well so we get that really clean. Helps make sure everything smells good too when you're killing all the germs and bacteria that's inside your car with the heat of the steam. All right, so cleaning up around the steering wheel really thoroughly with steam helps kill a lot of germs and bacteria. Making sure you clean that with steam thoroughly does make for a much more sanitary environment. So first thing here, we're going to use a really heavy concentration of orange oil to help break down the grease that's on the engine. We're going to let it set for a little bit and kind of do its job while I'm cleaning up the insulation panel of the underneath side of the hood. And then we're going to get back to it with some really heavy steam and start cutting that crud and getting that all cleaned up.
All right, so now we're going to blow out any leftover water that's in there. Not a lot of water stays around when you're using steam, especially when you're wiping up right behind yourself. After we get all the water blown out that we can, we're going to use some Meguiar's Hyper Dressing, diluted one to one, and kind of spray over the rubber and plastic trim in the engine bay, make that look good. come back and use the tornado again and just kind of smooth out any of the dressing that's been applied that way it's not kind of piled up in any one area that makes it have a little bit better look whenever you've got it dispersed down all over the engine and then we'll come along and then we'll wipe it all off and eat it's kind of residual and left over. Make sure it's all nice and cleaned up and smoothed out. Really gives the engine a brand new appearance and just kind of makes everything pop. going to be using solution finish to restore the black trim underneath the windshield wipers and then the plastic part of the windshield wipers as well. Solution finish will provide oils that have been dried out from just over time sun just baking the, the plastic and this will restore it to an original factory look. See with just a few quick passes you can get the plastic restored on these mirrors and then I'm also going to do the plastic on the V pillar and the rubber trim at the bottom of the window that also gets dried out and solution finish will do an amazing job at getting that rubber trim back to black as well and get the oils restored. Alright, so here we're going to be using 303 Aerospace. It's a protectant that provides a lot of really good UV protection and it also dries without being glossy. So you get a really nice matte finish and protection without looking like some nice smeared Crisco all over your interior.
And here again, we're just gonna make sure we go over every piece of rubber or plastic final trim that we possibly can with the 303 Aerospace. Again, that's just gonna make it look really great without being a glossy finish. If you're watching this far along, you probably remember the part where I was asking you to guess how much change was in the cup holder. I actually found a dollar and 37 cents in there, so if you guess pretty close to that, well, you're right. All right, now we're ready to do some gloss enhancement on this paint. We're gonna use a product called HD Speed. I wanna make sure we get the product completely soaked into the pad. You don't wanna be rubbing a dry pad across the paint. Let's get the pad primed, and then we're gonna do an all-in-one polish all over the entire car. Bring back some of the shine that the car's lost. I'm also going to go over the entire glass. This will also help clean up anything that's on the glass and give it a little layer of protection as far as wax and that'll also help keep the glass clean and make rain a little bit difficult to stick to.
here's an exciting time. We're coming along to the last stretch of the car. I'm gonna finish getting this polished up a little bit. Get this headlight cleaned up. You'll see this headlight kind of take shape right before your eyes. Of course, the video is sped up really quick, so we'll get all that cleaned off that we can. Get a little bit of layer protection on that. The driver will be able to see the road when the headlights are actually shining on it. If you're still here with me watching this, thank you so much for checking it all out. This car was a beast. Just absolutely one of the dirtiest cars I've done in a long time. And it's really good to be able to do something like that just to keep my skill level on par and up for the challenge. But this Pontiac vibe here, I think I've got about eight hours of work into it. I was thinking it might be about six or eight, but I could be a little over eight hours. But anyway, this thing, I got the carpet cleaned up, got the engine cleaned up, everything on the inside, everything on the outside. We went over the headlights, got those polished up a little bit, and went over the entire exterior, glass included, and got everything polished up. Just a one-step quick polish. It's just for gloss enhancement and some protection. So let's go look at the car.